Hello everyone. I welcome you all to this lecture. In this lecture, I am going to demonstrate few of the important things related to experiment number six. In experiment number six, I have given you few of the exercises in which I am expecting that the student will pass different different values. Like in the previous sessions, I have demonstrated you how you can pass a single value. But let's say if I ask you, you need to pass an array as an function argument to a thread or I may ask like you need to pass let's say two three integers and one array or character pointer then you may face difficulty to do that. So I'm just going to demonstrate it so that you can uh, do the lab exercises quickly. I'll also provide you the code in the description section so don't worry for that. Let's look at the very first things. Let's say if you want to, uh, I've written few code here. So let's say if you want to pass an array. So let's look at first that if you want to pass an array, now what we can do is we can declare an array. So I have declared a function, my thread function my underscore thread underscore function which I will call inside my thread and here I am having the void pointer I guess you are already aware about we need to have here the void pointer right I have already explained in the previous sessions and we need to type cast so I am taking let's say here uh, inside my main I have taken an array of 10 element you can give any value I have given randomly 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 if you want to give something else you can give no 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 issue here so let's say if i going to give 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 that's it okay let's say this is the array now when we pass this array here i am passing so because array is the name of the array so it is the base address or you can say address of the array so m percent I am not putting here and I am typecasting this address with void pointer. Okay, because we need to pass void pointer only. And this is the name of the function. So in this function, this array I am passing and after passing it, I am printing the very first element. Uh, let's say I print the first element like 0. So I am just typecasting this and I am having a an integer pointer p and I am passing the address of arg into pointer p and arg is containing the address of array which i have passed okay so when i print this the 0th element it will print 10 right so let's execute this program it is an easy program now in this way you can pass an array to your thread function now here if i want to link the library i can use l p thread in some of the system you need to link it some of the system can directly accommodate the library so i link it l means i'm linking p thread means p thread library okay so don't get confused and i'm just running it it is printing 10 because i was printing the p and inside the square bracket 0 0 means the very first element okay so let's look at the code again in this if you print let's say 1 2 3 4 you can print and likewise if you want to perform any operation on this let's say addition subtraction or if you want to check the maximum of the element which i am passing inside the array or minimum of the element of which we are passing in the array or let's say average that also easily we can do okay so if i change this value let's say i am printing here 9 it will start displaying the value which is stored at index 9 so we can run it like and index 9 like the last element because indexes are starting from 0 so it is displaying 100 right now let's say if i want to pass a structure rather than array if i want to pass in a structure so if we want to pass in a structure let's look at now we can pass in a structure so let's say i have declared here in a structure thread underscore arg is the name of the structure and in this structure, I am taking three arguments. First argument is an integer, 
another argument second argument is also an integer and the third argument is a character point okay and this is my thread function my underscore thread underscore func and inside it i'm trying to print these arguments okay so because i'm taking those uh, here if you look at the main i'm passing this uh, this my underscore args and my underscore args if you look at here my underscore arg i have declared it is a type of a structure of the type like thread underscore args which i have declared in the beginning right and i am passing these values to this 10 20 and hello because 10 is an integer 20 is an integer and this is you can say character point right and i am passing the address of this my underscore args here so i am looking passing here m percent and i am type casting with void okay so when i pass this uh, the address of this my args will be copied to uh, here in arg arg right so with the help of arg this arg i am typecasting to struct thread underscore args pointer and that i am copying in my args okay and then i can print my args my underscore args argument one argument two argument three and so on because argument thread three is a character pointer so i am printing with percent s so this is very easy to pass different values with the help of you can say structure so let's compile and execute this code i'll provide the code in description so you can copy from there and run okay so if i run by typing a dot out it is giving me argument 1 is 10 argument 2 is 20 and argument 3 is that now if you want to operate let's say if i say display the average of argument 1 and argument 2 you can do that the challenging part how you can pass the different values to a thread function okay now let's quickly see one thing i have given in your lab manual that um, you need to pass as an argument like you need to pass an array and i have passed uh, ask you one thing that you calculate the maximum element of the array minimum element of the array average of the array so i think you can do that let me show you i have just written a code so it will help you to understand you just check it so here i have written three different functions i will initiate three different threads so this array i am initializing as a global kind of array so outside of the main function i have declared an array named as array and a macro array underscore size the size i have declared as 10 okay and this macro i am using here if you don't want to use this macro you can just directly pass 10 value here it's not a problem and any random value you can take it here any random value so i am just taking 10 values and initializing this array named as array okay i need to calculate the average maximum and minimum so i have taken three variables average can be float so i have taken float value variable and this is these maximum and minimum will be integers because this array is an integer type array. okay the good thing when when we declare an in global variable whatever the number of threads we will create the global data will be available to each and every thread so inside the thread function if i directly write array and i print array inside the square bracket one two three these element i can access directly without passing inside my main when we are creating thread by calling p thread underscore create right so if i don't pass this array in p thread underscore create then also inside the thread these global variable will become accessible so that is the important point now th this is not a very challenging thing to write so the very first function like compute average i want to compute the average okay so how do we calculate the average we add all the elements and divide number of elements so the same thing i am doing here so what i am doing is sum initially i have taken zero and then sum plus is equal to array element is starting from i2 less than of array size okay so it will start from zero and till let's say array size is 10 so it will 
goes till nine. And all the elements we are keep on adding in sum. And after that, we are just calculating sum divided by array size. And I'm just type casting with float so I can store fractional part also. And then we can exit the thread here. The next to compute the maximum value of the array. So here the array I'm getting. Initially, we are considering the zeroth element is the maximum value. If it is, that's fine. If it is not, we will change the value of maximum variable. So we start the index from one because the zeroth index we are already considering it as maximum and we start comparing. So if we compare array of i, that means array of one, if it is greater than the maximum value, then maximum is equal to array i, right? Otherwise, this, this changes will not happen. So the array index zero will become maximum. So maximum value will be same, right? So whenever we will get any larger value than the previous maximum, it will be changed. That is the logic, right? So this is also very easy to understand. And then the same logic we can apply for minimum. So we can take a minimum variable and we initialize minimum with array zero and the same loop in the similar manner. We compare if array i is less than, then we can update the value of minimum. And these three functions we can call inside the main. So here we are creating thread numbers uh, num underscore thread this is also one of the global variable which i have declared in the beginning so num underscore thread there are three threads i'm going to create okay so different thread will execute different function there are three functions so three thread i'm initiating you can initiate multiple threads so no issue in that and i'm passing the address of thread 0 1 and 2 so we can pass right i hope there is no challenge and these options we are not setting so and then these are the functions compute average compute max maximum and compute minimum and here no argument we are passing no argument we are passing because the array for which we are going to calculate all these things that array is declared globally if we declare that array inside this main function we need to pass as an argument otherwise that will not be available inside the different different threads okay so once we call this then inside this array, uh, we are performing join operations. So one by one, we will be joining all three threads. And after this, we will print the value of average, maximum and minimum. Why we are able to print it here? Because all these variables are global variables. So once the value has been updated, it will be available even after the thread is terminated, right? Or exited. So we can print it. I hope you can understand this logic. This logic I will also give you in the uh, description. So inside the Google file, you can download and run it. Okay. So let's run it. If you compile it, right? And you can attach the pthread library. So L pthread it has been executed and then it wrote out. Now you can check average is 4.50 it is giving maximum value is 9 and minimum is 0 so if you want to verify all those things it is giving 4.50 because i have printed floating point value up to the two decimal points so i have given here percent 0.2 f right so that's why it is printing the value up to two decimal points okay so i hope this will help you to do the lab exercise right and after watching this video, you must be familiar with how to pass an array as an argument or how you can declare the global variables and you can declare array as a global variable or you can declare structures. Right. So thank you everyone. See you in the next class.